Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is really fun. I am actually doing a huge drugstore haul for you guys. All the stuff I picked up today came from only Walmart and CVS. I wanted to share this with you because I got some amazing stuff and stuff I've never tried before. So I wanted to kind of get a first impression with you guys as well. So let's go ahead and just dive right in. So the first thing I picked up was actually a little bit of skincare because I was in desperate need of some makeup remover. And I got the Garngay Micellar Water 4-in-1 Makeup Remover. This one is for all skin types, even sensitive. And it has no rinse, no harsh rubbing for eyes, lip, and face. They do have one for waterproof mascara. I don't ever wear waterproof mascaras. Uh, I think it's very, very rare when I do, so I didn't pick that one up. But I bought this guy because he was on sale and I really needed makeup remover and I love micellar waters. The simple micellar wipes, the Garnier micellar wipes are awesome. I live for them and I use this guy usually for my eye makeup, especially like today because I have so much on. <laughs> this will be really nice to just kind of get my face nice and clean. So the next thing that I picked up is a couple of mascaras. I picked up the Voluminous Lash Paradise Mystic Black Mascara. Looks like this. I picked this guy up because I heard a lot of things on YouTube about it. I've heard it's very similar to another high-end brand. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. If you know what it is, put it in the comments below. I really wanted to try this and I had a, they had a rocket deal. It was buy two buy two get one free something like that so and it was mix and match throughout the products so I went ahead and picked one of these bad boys up plus my mascara just dried out so <laughs> I'm gonna definitely try this guy and see how I like it and see how the brush is because I'm really finicky about my brushes it's crazy I always get it on my lid so I like a very specific kind of brush but I think that this one will work really nicely and then what else I got was the Maybelline Lash Discovery Mascara in Very Black. This one has a very small wand. It's perfect for the lower lash line. I actually have one from forever ago from e.l.f. that's now just now starting to dry out so I wanted to pick up something that was going to replace him and this guy looks perfect and I love Maybelline mascara the full and soft is one of my favorites so I'm hoping that this has the same kind of formula but we'll see I'll definitely let you guys know in an updated video but yeah I'm very very happy that this guy is you know in existence because I really like the small brush for the lower lash line I picked up a couple other things. Something from L'Oreal. This is the Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream, and this is an anti-redness formula. It looks like this. I do have quite a bit of redness on this side of my face. Everybody thinks it's rosacea, but it's absolutely not rosacea. What it is is actually a very light birthmark that I've had since I was born. And it's funny because nobody believes me, but it is a birthmark. And my mom actually was like, what's all that redness in your skin? Okay, well, you see me with makeup all the time. It is a very light birthmark. And I try to mask it with some soft focus primer from Urban Decay and then my anti-redness correcting primers as well. I wanted to pick this up because I've seen it before but I've never tried it and it is a BB cream so I think that it might work pretty well for me. So I picked that guy up so that I could kind of cancel out some of the redness in my skin. I also was looking around and if you guys have not seen my Wet n Wild haul and my try on for Wet n Wild, I think it was like a first impressions video that I had done. I'll put it in the links up here. I couldn't get my hands on this brush to save my life, but it looked really interesting to me. And what I'm talking about is the Wet n Wild, what is this one? Wet n Wild eyeshadow brush. And this is from the Rebel Rose collection. It looks like this. It looks really interesting. I would love to use that underneath the eye. I don't think it'd be good for the crease, but I would love to use that underneath and maybe on the outer corner. It's really interesting and it's very lightweight. It's just so funny because it does look like a rose <laughs> and it just, I loved it. So I went ahead and picked that bad boy up because I can never have too many brushes. 
If you guys have not seen those videos, I did dupes videos for eye brushes for Sigma and MAC brushes, also Smashbox brushes, and I did dupes for all of those, and it was eyes and face if you have not seen those. I'll link them in the cards above as well but I wanted to pick this guy up because he yeah I love the rebel rose collection and I needed the brush because you know that just completes it <laughs> so now we're getting into the exciting stuff that I picked up I actually finally found at CVS it took me forever to find these but I found all four of them and what I'm talking about is the hypnotic lights holographic eye toppers and I've got all four of them the first one is luster light and it looks like this this is the one I have on today I got into these I couldn't help myself so I put this on today and I freaking love it these guys if you have not tried them you need them in your life they are so good they blend out really nicely crazy pigmented they're so so good I don't like cream shadows but I freaking love these the other one that I picked up was Beaming Light, and this one is more of a pink tone. It looks really pretty, and I really want to try this guy. I picked up Starlight. This one is more white. I think that that would be a perfect inner corner highlight as well. Uh, the pink one, too. I didn't put these on. I only put this guy on today, the Luster Light. But... I definitely want to play with these guys and kind of see what I can come up with. And then the last one is my favorite. This one is Prismatic Light and it's got a shift to it. It's blue purple shift. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. I can't. I just, ugh. If you guys want to see a tutorial with this, you let me know in the comments below. And these retail for $10.99 a piece. It was buy two, get one free. So I ended up buying all three of these for 35 or all four of them for $35. It's awesome. CBS rocking it. Love them. And I'm definitely going to be using these more on my channel. So if you guys want to see a certain look, you let me know. So the last few things that I picked up was another eye topper, but this one is from Maybelline. I actually really like this color. That's why I picked it up. This one is called the Maybelline color tattoo eye chrome. And this one is in beige. It's really pretty. It's kind of like that nice light taupe color. I think it'd be really gorgeous for an everyday makeup look just with a little bit of glitter and this guy on top. This is just so pretty. So I had to pick this guy up. It's just, it was one of those things that called to me. So I went ahead and picked that guy up. And in conjunction with the Milani ones, I think I could make some really cool looks. Also picked up, let's see here. This is a Demi Matte lipstick from CoverGirl. And this one is in Streaker, and it looks like this. And I'll show you the color. The color is really pretty. It's kind of like a pinky nude. I don't know if you guys can see that. It'll definitely be nice to wear that over my lip liner and spice from MAC. I think that that would be really pretty. I just, I really like the color. It kind of drew me in with this part. And when I opened it, yeah, that that's just gorgeous. And I know I have a lot of nude lipsticks, but this is a demi matte, so I'm wondering if it's just kind of like a matte finish, but it's kind of like one of those satin matte finishes. But we'll see. I'll give you guys an update on that guy too. I saw a highlight that I had been seeing so much about for like the last year, and what I'm talking about is the Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlight in number 250, and it looks like this. Let's see if I can get it all nice and close for you looks like this it's so pretty I want to go ahead and just oh oh my god oh ladies and gentlemen yes oh yeah you need this in your life I can already tell you I don't even need to put it on my skin holy crap what Yes, this, yes. Worth every single penny, I can already tell you. Oh my God, I'm gonna be beaming. People are gonna be able to see me from outer space. <laughs> oh my God. Yes, Master Chrome. Yes, I wanna go back and get a couple others. I actually got a darker one and I think it was in rose gold or something and I kind of shifted away. I wanted something a little bit lighter. I thought it'd be better on my skin tone, but that's bomb. That is amazing. So I would definitely use this on my inner corner too. Oh my God. On my inner corner highlight. 
so good. And the last things that I picked up were a couple of eyeshadow palettes. I usually don't pick up eyeshadow palettes from the drugstore without doing a lot of research, but I took a chance and this is what I picked up. The first one is from L'Oreal. This is the Enchanted, the Paradise Enchanted Scented Eyeshadow Palette and it looks like it belongs with the Paradise Mascara. So I wanted to pick that up. I'm gonna go ahead and open this bad boy and see what it looks like. It's very weird. What? Okay, it does have a scent to it. Not a bad scent, just a scent. And it looks like this. It's very light and pretty and girly and pink. And I do like this because it would be wonderful for travel. Also, I think that a lot of different eye colors would look good in all of these shades because if you have dark brown eyes, you would still look beautiful in all these shades. If you had green eyes, you could make some really beautiful looks with this. I think it's really nice and I think it'd be good for travel. I'm pretty sure it'd be okay for travel. I haven't swatched any of these yet, so I'm gonna swatch just a few. Okay. Oh, all right, that peach tone is beautiful. Um, let's see here, get some good stuff. Oh, <sighs> really? Come on, seriously? At the drugstore? Okay, all I'm doing I'm gonna show you just so that you guys see. These are the glitter ones that I'm touching. I'm actually gonna go in with a matte shade. I'm gonna go in with this this dark matte shade. Yeah. I'm going in once. Yes. Look at the pigment on those from the drugstore. What? They're stepping up their game. L'Oreal, okay. All right, L'Oreal, yes. Yes, yes, yes. If you want to see a tutorial with this, you let me know. I would be happy to do one with this guy because this pigment is crazy. Okay, so also I went and got a couple from CoverGirl. And CoverGirl, I've had my misgivings with CoverGirl, okay? I don't purchase their stuff all that often. But these called to me when I was at the drugstore and it was buy two, get one free. So I bought two and I got one free. And the ones that I picked up were the True Naked Sunsets palette. And the other one that I picked up was the Full Spectrum palette in Posh. So this one, the CoverGirl True Naked Sunset palette looks like this. It looks just like the Anastasia Modern Renaissance. It has all very similar colors. I love this pop of color. This is what made me buy the palette in the first place. This color right here. So what I'm gonna do is actually swatch this and I have been in this one already. I already have played with it. And you're going to scream when you see the pigment on this pink color. It's ridiculous. Like, what? Oh God. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this dark tone and I'm gonna swatch this out for you. Oh, it's so good. It's, it's a, just, what? <laughs> you can build up this color too. It's, oh, and they're so soft and they kick up just a little bit, but they're so pigmented for a drugstore palette. I just, I'm in shock. Can you see that matte tone? Oh my God. I'm gonna do one of the more glittery tones on my hand. I'm gonna do the dark glittery tone right here because I really want you guys to see this. And it's more, it's not really glittery more than there is a sheen to this color. Oh yeah, it's more of a satin finish, it's not glittery. So I'm gonna do one of the, the gold in here too. Just say, oh, so you can see how good this is. It's so pretty. Oh. I am so excited about this and I love the fact that it came from CoverGirl. Like they have stepped up their game immensely when it comes to their eyeshadow palettes. What? Like what? Oh my God. I feel like I am, I've been out of the loop and somebody's playing like a cool trick on me because I have spent hundreds of hundreds upon probably thousands of dollars on eyeshadow palettes that some of them didn't even hold a candle to the pigment that I'm getting from 
a drugstore palette. Like what? I just, I'm in shock. So the other one that I picked up is a full spectrum CoverGirl palette in Posh. And this one is Posh. This one is a little darker. It had some more rich tones to it. So that's why I picked this guy up. I want to swatch this one so bad. I think I'm going to swatch this guy and the pink one and maybe this golden tone. They're so soft and buttery and just, oh shit. That dark tone is perfect. What is happening? I am so impressed. I can't, I have no words. I have zero words for you. Cover girl, good job. Good job, girl. Good job. I, yes, yes. And I mean, L'Oreal's coming with it too. Like I, I was impressed, but I'm like, wow, oh, yes, you're so pretty. And I love the fact that you can take both of these and make pretty much any look you want. You can do a darker tone look, more smoky look. You can make an everyday look. You could do daytime glam look. You could do a nighttime glam look. You could do, oh my God, the pops of color in these are freaking amazing. Like the the intensity the richness the butteriness i just oh my god oh my god what oh jesus i have no words i have zero words none no words i'm done between the maybelline freaking highlighter these the palette good work guys good work <laughs> just good work so if you guys want to see any of the looks that I can create with any of these products, please let me know in the comments below. If you want to see a review, swatches, or any kind of like follow-up, please let me know in the comments below. If you have not already, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications of upcoming videos. We obviously have a lot to do <laughs> and I will be waiting right here for you. I love you. Have a wonderful afternoon and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.